Welcome to the vlog, and today it's Christmas. Man, oh, last night I got this for Christmas. This whole art set in the back. Yeah. I got the picture. Try to take it out. Hard as heck, bro. I'm gonna take it from the front because it might spill all over. The place. I'm gonna finish open it. All right, it's almost ready. Hold on, hold on, hold up. Gotta keep. All right, that's open. So like, oh yeah, this is official right here. This, this is official. Let's open this thing. Nope, nope, ah, nope. I feel crazy. All right, it's halfway open. Oh yeah. This thing is open. This what it look like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Before we get into the um, you know, Peyton, I want you to subscribe and like this video, and add me on Instagram right here, and I'ma follow you right back. You know. What it look like so far, and I'm not done, cause I don't want to finish this. I'm gonna finish it next week. What I wanted to show you was the best painters ever. So let's do this. Here we go. All right, we about to start this. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay. Well, I'll do this. Real world elements of art to the image. Things such as realistic lighting, realistic form, realistic perspective, all applied in a very unreal well, way. Ugly. That is it makes ugly. for some of the but most beautiful images I've ever sharp. laid eyes on. His ability to capture light, subsurface scattering, and texture is phenomenal. Truly one of my favorite artists. Number five, Greg Simpkins. I grew up on Greg Simpkins. I loved him as a child. And as an adult, I still am very invested in his work. Maybe it's because he paints dreamlike environments with dreamlike creatures. Maybe it's because his art is a mix between graffiti and fine art. And that's something I can relate to a lot. Whatever it is, his artwork still captivates me to this day. Number four, Eric Wirtz. I've seen this guy's work in person at a gallery, and pictures do not do it justice. Seeing work to this magnitude, seeing work to this detail in person is unbelievable. I... I don't have words. I, I, I simply don't have words for the amount of realism, for the amount of detail that he puts into his images. What he does is no easy task, and the images themselves look effortless as can be. And that alone speaks volumes. Number three, Gottfried Helenwein. This is another artist whose work I've seen in person, except this time it was through a window in a dark gallery because the gallery was closed. And even then, it was still oh, mind blowing. Really? The painting I saw was the closest to the window in the gallery, and it was it was mind blowing. I, I I almost felt as if the person in the painting was actually there. And I know this sounds ridiculous because he paints larger than life images. N not even a joke. These paintings are huge. But the amount of realism is almost uncanny. And in all honesty, when you see work this far ahead of your own skill, you can't help but think, why am I even doing this? <laughs> I might as well give up. Number two, Kid, Kid King. King. When I was first exposed to Kid King, I actually thought what I was looking at was a photograph. She brings to the table not only stunning hyper-realistic paintings, but she also adds a creative twist to a lot of it. And oh, once again, like some of the other people on this list, applying realistic rendering to very abstract ideas. Hyper-realistic work is no longer limited to being an exact replica of a photograph. It can be so much more than that nowadays, and you can see that in her work. Side note, she's also married Sorry. to another artist named Oda, who is definitely worth your guys' time. He definitely deserves a spot on his list right next to Kid King. Now, the number one artist on the list would be Fulvio Di Piazza. My apologies if I'm not saying that properly. I'm not sure words would do his artwork justice, but the amount of creativity rivals the amount of realism, the amount of texture, the amount of detail in each one of his images. The way this artist understands colors, lights, shapes, volume, space, it's all to the next level. So he's able to take these fantastical sceneries, these fantastical ideas, and really bring them to life with the 
amount of detail he can cram in there. And it's believable because he's able to apply these fundamentals you'd find in realism to such abstract imagery. And that's why he's number one on our list. If you're interested in any of these artists, you can find all of their links in the description down below. I know a lot of you guys would have much different lists than my own, so share them in the comments down below. Let me know what your top 10 best artists are. For those of you guys that are first time viewers, feel free to subscribe. We come out with new art videos every single week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure like to drop a like. It helps us a bunch. I'll see you guys in the next video, but till then. All right, that's it. For right now, just for right now, before we hustle, I want you to subscribe and like. Like I said, add me on Instagram. It's right here again. If you forgot, if you didn't forget, just snoop back. Take a peek. Is that me or is just my jokes just acting stupid? Hit it again. Ooh, ooh, bang, bang, peace. Oh, yeah. Yeah.